Hi, welcome to Real Estate Greatness powered by ClickUp. Take your business into the next level. Since we are using ClickUp to man our listings from it being a listing lead down to it being sold, I want to show you a quick demo on how we do it. So let's start. Here, we have a particular space. Underneath that, we have a folder separated from rentals and sales. So we are under sales. So we have a list that is called listings. And when I click that, it will give me this one this um, view that will definitely tell me everything, all of my properties that are under different statuses and what are these status. We have starting from new listing lead down to it being sold, withdrawn, or if it's all good, you can just tag it as complete. But I'll explain that to you a bit more later on. Let's start with the elements of this ClickUp system that we use for our real estate business. Here, this is like the general view, but we have five views that would give you different details. We'll start with the house details. And then this one, the second one is the seller's details, buyer's details, so if we have buyers, you just have to put the information there. But later on, when I introduce to you the forms, which is also here in this list, you would see how amazing and you would see how the automation works. And then conveyancers details. So if you're just looking for a particular detail, you just have to change your views here. And outstanding tasks is our fifth view. It will just show you um, the percentage or the progress of this particular property. All right, so we have two um, forms that are also integrated in this particular list. See um, how we can maximize all other applications features in this ClickUp um, system. So these are the forms. We have two forms, purchasers details and sellers details. So basically we start with the sellers details. So when you got a call or you found a new listing lead, this is the first form that you will be sending on to the seller vendor or owner of the property to fill it up. So it has the following things that we need for the new listing lead. How many bedrooms, bathrooms, etc. Notes if there are and images for us to have um, reference. Okay, I'll show you an example later because we'll go over this from submitting a form, being um, automatically um, created as, as a task in ClickUp system here. And then as we use the templates, <clears throat> I definitely like the templates because it gives us an instance to put checklist, necessary checklist for its specific status. So let me just um, go and show you the entire work um, flow of our real estate business um, here on ClickUp. So let's start with the seller's details form, like was I mentioned earlier. So I already filled this up from the top until the very bottom. So I put some images there, see how very um, convenient it is for us to like everything that the vendor would like to put for our new listing lid. It's, every, uh, it's like everything is here already. So let's just submit that. See, it's still powered by ClickUp. That's why it's very nice. And you would receive a confirmation that 
your submission has been received. So we will receive a notification that red dot um, stands for a new notification. So when you click on your notification, it will tell you or give you this form submission. And then when you go back to our list, see we have one new listing lead here because um, I made an automation, which is also one of the features of ClickUp. So when and there is a new form, specifically from the seller's details, it will definitely go directly to new, sub, uh, new or form submissions under new listing leads. So let's go back to house details and it's still there. So as you can see, whether you change views, it only changes on the context or the details that you will see. These things are called um, custom fields. These custom fields are actually um, the same with what we are asking for in the field. So when the field were being filled up, it automatically um, put the information here in our house details view. So as you can see, the price is automatically set up here. The method of sale, which we are just going to, to determine if it's for sale. Let's put for sale and it's like that. And when we click that, we'll just have to change it by copying the property, the prospect property or the new listing lead as the title of our task. And you can see guiding using this template for getting that listing lead. This is automatically automated by ClickUp, but we just set it up. And there is a guideline, take the checklist below. Once completed with all, and then change the status of this task to list it to start another process. So, these are the informations that we actually filled up in the form and see how you can see all of them here, which is very great. And there is an automatic new listing lead checklist that will tell you from step one until the last step for the new listing lead checklist on what to do basically. So you'll be guided. So just have to check all of those, once they are all complete, let's try to check them all. And then let's proceed to the next status. I'll tell you how to change the status in one moment. There you go. So we already finished most of the checklist for our new listing lead checklist. So this one isn't automatic because I did it in an, in an automation here in click up, but I just have a lot of um, templates from new listing lead, listed, um, on market, sold, withdrawn, under offer, and etc. So these checklists are very useful. You just have to apply them. All right, and the pictures are here. Why don't we try and, okay put that in another status, which is listed and it will go under listed. And once it goes into listed, this is our property. We just have to wait for a couple of seconds for the automation to process because I put another automation to put another set of checklists, which is a listed checklist as mentioned earlier to have another set of tasks that we need to do in order to complete the task and for that listed property to be successfully on market. Before we are waiting for that um, automation to, to be accomplished, I just would want you to see the seller's details that all of the information that was input also in the form earlier is already here. So it's quite um, efficient and convenient for us that we don't have to input every information that we, we got from the form. So it's automatically 
there in our custom fields. These are custom fields. Let's go back and see there is nine out of 23. So when you click on to our property, which is 124 Adelaide Street, there is another guideline, which is very um, specific guide in using this template for getting this listing lead be live or on market. So same, once all done, you just have to check, uh, click on the checklist and move it into a different status. So it's basically just the same. I just would want to show you that we now have different listed um, checklist and you can still see the old checklist that you have done just for reference but you can definitely hide completed ones so you can just get rid of them and focus on your new listed checklist so that's basically it until you reach to the soul so let's just try to look up onto our statuses so we have new listing lead listed on market under offer sold withdrawn and complete when everything is all good and you just just want to get rid of the the listing here on this view so once the the property is already on market and then we have prospect buyers let me just show it to you but of course we also have a different form for that and we call it purchasers details let's just view it so it has the following information that needs to be um, filled up special list to conveyance or contact num uh, name and number and also the information is from the purchasers so when you uh, finish filling up this form you just have to go to buyer's details and conveyancer's details for you to see because they are all set up here so so they will just be automatically here once okay the form is already been accomplished so and the conveyancer's details also so this is just a template so all of them were like empty yet they are definitely be accomplished once the form is accomplished. And let's go to outstanding tasks just for us to be like, um, be reminded if the task that we are doing is actually um, on its way to 100%. So let's go back to house details. So that's basically it. And one more thing, what is actually good with this is that you can assign people like for example download the sign authority from DocuSign so who's going to do this one is it the agent or is it the sales admin so let's try it and assign it to me and then I could set due date on where I want it to for this entire um, task to be done and that's it that is just a quick demo of our system here in ClickUp you could have the same or you can customize it based on your needs. Real Estate Greatness is here to help you. Check our details on the description box below.